In today's Your Healthy Family, this week we're focusing on protecting your skin from the damaging UV rays from the sun with a few stories. Today we're reminding you about some of the basics of sunscreen. The first reminder, especially if you're new to living at elevation, is how much more sun exposure we get. So sunscreen is really important, especially in Colorado, because we are closer to the sun. So our high altitude gives us um, our sun exposure, our UV exposure, about 36% higher than, uh, than at sea level. So it's really important. Our skin is, um, needs to be protected from the damaging ultraviolet rays that we get. We always talk about sunscreen in terms of avoiding a sunburn, but UV rays can also take a cumulative toll on your skin, even if you're not getting burned. These damaging ultraviolet rays um, affect our, the aging of our skin. So wrinkles, uh, discoloration, sagging of the skin eventually. The sun is damaging, so not only skin cancer, but aging. When it comes to the musts of sunscreen, only use SPF 30 or higher with both UVA and UVB protection. And even inside those guidelines, you have two types of sunscreen that will work differently. One creates a physical barrier and the other creates a chemical barrier. The physical barrier reflects the damaging rays. The chemical barrier, it absorbs and prevents it, the rays from penetrating the skin. No matter which one you choose, the most important thing is to use it. Apply 30 minutes before sun exposure, and if you're out more than an hour or two at most, reapply. Every two hours, typically, um, if we're out at the beach in the water or exercising and sweating every hour, but otherwise every two hours. What's important is applying it liberally and evenly on clean, dry skin. Um, if you want a visual about a full shot glass of sunscreen on the average adult body, uh, give or take, and then for the face and neck, if you want to do like two to three strands on your finger, um, we'll cover face and neck. And then don't forget the backs of your hands because we have a lot of sun exposure when we're driving. Um, that creates the age spots that people talk about. Oh, yeah. So we, we forget about that. Registered nurse Angela Tankersley with Rejuvenate Med Spa in Colorado Springs also says while the brand name products you find in retail stores will protect your skin, there is a difference in what's considered medical grade products like those generally sold at a med spa. A lot of the, the over-the-counter sunscreens that you buy or skincare have a lot of fillers in them. Like you really want to pay attention to the ingredients and what, what order they're in. Our products are medical grade and they're studied and tested and um, just really high quality. So if you come here, you'll get the education um, from our esthetician, Brennan. Um, and then we, we, have, we have skincare through products. We, we do peels and facials and um, Botox and fillers. And while most med spas will give you quality care for your skin overall, they should never be treating any type of suspicious sore or lesion that won't go away. Typically you want to see a dermatologist once a year. Um, so we take care of, we help you with the care of your skin and the aging of your skin. Here we have four amazing plastic surgeons up in Golden and Cherry Creek, but if you have something that's suspicious, please go see a dermatologist. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to your healthyfamily.com.